Whiskey with the team, got it bubbling. I got trees in my luggage. I got teams in London. Hope you okay. All right, so uh, this is what we're doing swim jig. Case okay, so is dirty. Black and blue chatterbait. And I don't know where my white one is, but this is the chatterbait freedom. Using that, I'm gonna throw a little super fluke. See what's up. Go ahead and scan the whole bank. Check out this pond. And this is actually an area I grew up in like a while ago, eight years ago, nearly a decade ago. I used to fish these spots, but I mean, I wasn't as good as I am now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but I pretty much didn't know what I was doing, or I was just catfishing. You know, the bass I did catch were probably on worm or live minnow or on a cheap ribbon tail. So stay with me and i really want to get something for you guys today it's been a while i've been out because i mean the fishing has been slow first of all but i've also having am having this transition in my life so please be patient with me on that but as always stay outdoors and we're gonna keep fishing fluke on it's a five out hook or three out sorry i wish it was a five out but three out's fine too just figuring out how i want to rig this sometimes i put it out of the the back like that sometimes it goes under we'll see i dyed the tail so it can look like a bluegill here look at that jankiness i left my tungsten bullet weights in the car that's cool Got one right when it dropped. Little buddy, but he's cool. Right on the drop, okay. It's a tight on the right thing. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the hook set. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll let you go, pal. You've been hooked before. You know what? He's letting me know that. This might be what they want. I'll keep throwing in here. I just have a question for you. What kind of vegan bass fisherman do you know fish? She's an overwatch socks. Sheesh. Y'all got a y'all got a culture person right here. I got a gaming culture, fishing culture. I'm gonna keep fishing. Whoa, something blew up on something right there. That's where we're going to throw. Eh, I wasn't it. Bid, bid, bid. Go. Oh, this is a decent one. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, buddy. Come on. Oh. Yes. Ooh. This dude, like, swallowed this thing whole. He's already bleeding. Look at that. Time for Dr. Chuck. Dr. Chuck on duty. Get the pliers and get this out of his throat. Hold on, pal. Oh yeah, you got that in there. Damn, he swallowed that quick. Gosh, dude. You know what, I'm gonna cut the line. And what we're gonna do is uh, try to poke that hook through his throat, cut the line and thread that hook 
through so that barb didn't catch on his throat. I'm going to do that off camera. Got it out. Fortunately, got it out of him. Team got it bubbling, I got trees in my luggage, I got teens out in London, hope you care what you say. Looks nice and delicious over here. Safe spot for bluegill. Skip, skip. Hey, it's a good one too. Look at that guy. Look at that hook set. Oh yeah. Oh man, you're heavy. Heavy guy. Are we recording for that? Oh, we're recording. Yes. It smells great too. It smells like a lake bass. Well fed, well taken care of. Dude, you've got to be like two and a half maybe. Look at the belly. Let's let you go in slow-mo. Right under the tree. Skipped it under. Pop, pop. Yank. Whew. That was fun. Oh, yeah. So this works. Texas rigged. A little watermelon. I dip the tail. The garlic chartreuse dip. Imitate a bluegill. Bass love it. That's number three today. Stay outdoors. Stay outdoors. Heck yeah. Let's do it again. Oh, look at that skip. Is outdoors with Chuck a pro? Am I pro? Oh. Too soon. Too soon, Junior. <laughs> Too soon, Junior. <laughs> Good day, Koba. Good day, Koba. <laughs> Later, it's from a video game. It's from Overwatch. Video. I don't know if we're gonna get it or not. Get around. Ooh.